Hello, I'm Matthew Richardson and welcome to The Whiteboard, brought to you by British Paints. Today we're focusing on the reigning Brownlow medalist, Dane Swan from the Magpies. Swanee is very much an old-fashioned footballer. He's not into meetings much at all, which are a huge part of the players' lives these days. He's minimum fuss and he just knows how to keep finding the footy and performing on a consistent basis. He's a character off the field, I love that. It's very much what you see is what you get. Let's pick apart the key elements in this champion midfielder's game. Well, a lot's been spoken about Swanee's frame over the course of this season, but I reckon it's absolute rubbish. I reckon the build that Dane Swan has lets him play the football that he does. Yes, he's not a lean-looking athlete, but he certainly knows how to cover the ground. In fact, I reckon Dane Swan uses his speed endurance just about as well as any player in the competition. He plays in bursts, then comes off the ground, and he's really smart. He knows that this is his strength. While he's out there, he goes 100% and he just keeps on finding the football. People want to talk about Swan the athlete. Well, I know firsthand that Dane smashes himself in Collingwood's altitude room during the week, every week. He absolutely loves that part of his training. He mightn't love getting out on the track just as much. Not sure about the purple undies there, Swanee, but he certainly does train hard in the altitude room, and it certainly is giving him a lot of benefit. You see here, he loves to get the ball give and go and just keep running down the field and his opponents can't go with him when he's on the ground. When he does come off, he normally comes off for about 90 seconds but on this particular day we got the timer out and this was one here where I reckon he came off for a short period of time, 24 seconds. I reckon it helps him get rid of his tag. He comes back on and he's ready to go again. This man loves finding the footy. Let's have a close look at how he does that. Well, Dane Swan is just a great accumulator of possessions. There's no doubt about that. He's just a natural footballer. He's a smart footballer. He doesn't waste energy because he always gets to the right spots and finds the football. It helps with Collingwood's game plan. They've got an established game plan that they've had for a long time. They're a good team. So you can run into space with confidence and it helps him accumulate the numbers that he does. Twelve times in his career he has had over 39 possessions, Dane Swan, and he's been in the top two in the AFL possessions in the last four years. He's second this year to Matty Boyd and that is still after missing two games with a hamstring injury. That's unbelievable. He doesn't get caught ball watching. He's always thinking of where to go to get his next possession. I love this here. This is how he does get possessions at time. He's often tagged. Wellingham comes in and blocks his opponent Crowley. He's able to get the ball. Nothing comes of it but they do this a lot. We have another look here Wellingham blocks Crowley. Mazungu tries to pick him up, but he's already got front position and he gains possession of the football. Time to look at his around-the-ground clearances. There's no doubt Dane Swan is Collingwood's number one clearance player. He has been for the last four or five seasons. And this is an area where the build that people wanted to talk about early in the year really comes in handy. He's stro so strong through the hips and through the core that he always keeps his feet around these stoppages and he's very, very well balanced. He's extremely hard to tackle, which makes it hard for his tagger. What he does love doing is getting the ball on the burst. He's smart enough not to know when to use his hands and get the ball out, but he also knows when he's got time and space to burst from the stoppages. He's got a great combination with Darren Jolly, that being the sixth or seventh best combination in the AFL over the last four or five years. He loves kicking in goal with a clearance in the forward line. And this is the famous one where he gives the tummy a little bit of a rub on Anzac Day. The other area of his game which has become a real weapon for the Magpies is when he switches into attack. This is why Collingwood have been such a good team over the last few seasons. is because their midfielders get forward and kick goals. And Dane Swan is just about the best at doing this for the Pies. Since 2008, he has been good for at least one goal a game for his football club. And for a midfielder to do that, that is sensational. He knows how to find holes in the forward line. He gets into space. He's good around the clearances in the forward 50. But he's developed this into his game, overhead marking. Surprisingly, Swanee's got really good hands. I mentioned his handball work around clearances. Well, his hands are just as good in the air when he has to go. This one here, he outmarks a taller opponent in Jack Watts and kicks the goal. And he's pretty happy with it too, Swanee. 
three Copeland trophies, all Australian the last three seasons, an MVP, Premiership player, plus, of course, last year's Brownlow medal. His trophy cabinet is getting full, but he's not finished yet. He's a cherished favourite amongst the Magpie faithful, and you put money on him racking up another big bag of possessions this weekend against the Hawks. He loves the big stage. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next week on The Whiteboard. Thank you.